I'm out here in the woods hunting ghosts. <laughs> now I'm just kidding, I'm in my backyard testing out this new lantern. And actually, it's pretty good. I mean, out here it's plenty bright. Of course, in here with all the lights on, they don't seem that bright. But uh, yeah, out here it's not bad. Not bad at all, especially for the price. So uh, Hurricane Matthew is now tearing its way out of Cuba. And I'm not the type that usually panics. I mean, well, I never panic. I don't like clean out the supermarket or stock up on water or anything like that. And I'm in New York, so I probably won't even get hit by this hurricane that'll turn into a tropical storm and be no big deal by the time it gets here. Uh, hopefully it veers off into the Atlantic and doesn't hit the United States at all. But anyway, I was on Amazon. I saw a lightning deal for this four pack of lanterns for 20 bucks. And for five bucks a piece, I mean, that's not bad for lanterns. I'm still kind of uh, hurting from tropical storm, superstorm, whatever it was, Sandy, where we lost power for almost two full weeks. And uh, we just had flashlights and I had a generator, but when that wasn't running, we didn't have much light. So still kind of sore from that. So I figured, why not get some lanterns? And uh, hopefully this review will help some other people out who might be stocking up right now. I mean, I don't know if you get them in time or if you order them now from Amazon, but here you go. So first of all, these come with batteries. I didn't even realize that when I ordered them, but the bottom unscrews and it comes with, uh, I mean, they're the real cheap type, but three double A's. I would definitely stock up on other ones because I doubt these are gonna last, uh, last too long. And there's no switch or anything else on the outside. It's just these two handles. And when you pull up on them, the light turns on. When you push it back down, it turns off. And for the Star Trek nerds out there, it's kind of, it's kind of like uh, the dilithium chamber, you know, on the Enterprise. But yeah, for 20 bucks, uh, even for more than that, I think these seem like a pretty good deal. I mean, they're not super rugged, super solidly made. They don't have gaskets in them to make them watertight. I wouldn't take them camping in the rain. But for indoor use, uh, when your power goes out, these are definitely pretty cool. Okay, never mind. I was about to give these a hearty recommendation when uh, I went to turn them all on and this one stopped working. They all worked when I took them out of the box, which was like 10 minutes ago, and this one has just sat on the table the entire time. I changed the batteries, that didn't help. Wiggled it around, banged it on the table, nothing. So uh, one out of four bad, not a very good job, E-Tech City. I mean, what the hell kind of name for a company is E-Tech City anyway? Electronic Technical City? I don't know, whatever. Um, no longer a fan. Well, you know what? I figured I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, at least disassemble this one so you could see what's inside and also maybe try to fix it. So yeah, I tried it with these batteries. These are the ones that came with it. Uh, they're really cheap alkalines. You might not want to leave these in the lanterns for long-term storage because these kind of cheapo batteries tend to leak. So it looks like it's pretty simple to open under here for screws and for the rest of this, and you can see I used my cheap Acuvar cells in there, but still no, no love. And uh, for the rest of this disassembly, I'm gonna go to a sort of montage -y thing. Yeah. Okay, so I was a little more violent with it than I had to be because I didn't realize this top part unsnaps from here and would have given me access to the nut that held on this bolt that holds the whole thing together. So I kind of broke it, uh, snapped the plastic off right here. No big deal since it didn't work anyway. And I don't see anything obviously wrong here. Like there's no wires disconnected and it's a very simple arrangement of circuitry here. It's basically just a switch going to a resistor that comes from the battery terminal going up these two wires and to the LEDs. And the LEDs are mounted on circuit boards inside of here, uh, three circuit boards. Oh, wait, this actually unfurls. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this is the central stem of the unit, opens up and here are the circuit boards. It looks like the LEDs are all wired in parallel in each of these segments and the segments are all wired in parallel to each other. 
It's like a couple of jumpers on here. These tracks don't look that good. Yeah, these look like really cheap, poorly made circuit boards. I mean, I mean the tracks are actually worn away in some spots. Um, very shoddy workmanship. I mean, it's kind of a clever design, but all the solder joints look like they're cold joints. The whole thing just looks badly made. I'm not impressed at all. I mean, for the price, what do you really expect? But, and this base plate is what rides up and down inside of here. And inside the barrel, there are two tracks there, which uh, these little bumps ride on. And these have O-rings around them, and the O-rings are to provide friction against the sides that doesn't just like fall back down. So when, it, when you kind of need to exert a little bit of force to open and close it, that's just O-rings riding against the inside of these two tracks, which, I mean, they're eventually they're going to wear out, I'd imagine, and just break, and then these things are just going to, every time you try to open it, it's just going to collapse right back down. So, I, you know, I don't anticipate these lasting a long time, um, and I'm still not sure what's wrong with this one, because, like I said, there's nothing obvious. I'm going to throw the batteries back in here and just see. Yeah, so no voltage going to the circuit board. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where the fault is. Maybe it's with this switch. Let me change it over to continuity. Oh, yeah, it's the switch. Because when I bridge the switch, the lights actually turn on. Okay, so this switch is the faulty component. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, if I wiggle it, if I really pound on it, it does light. So, like I said, a really crappy solder job in here. I mean... The solder pads for the switch are only half covered with solder. So there could be a gap in there, it could be those joints, it could be internal to the switch itself, but presumably by replacing that, you could fix this unit. But since I already kind of destroyed it, I'm just going to save uh, save these LEDs for another project or something and uh, sort of call this a loss. But uh, anyway, if you're wondering what's inside one of these, there you go. Hopefully that answers that question. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Scott. To find out more about this and other products, check out my blog at s.co.tt or subscribe to my channel. And also check out my other channel, scott.extras, if you want. I mean, you don't have to, or whatever. <laughs>